Yeah, and this Erling Haaland kid seems rather good. He's an okay talent, isn't he? He chose to go to Dortmund and didn't go to RB Leipzig. And I think that was a good day for him. I spoke to him after the game. He was very happy. But he was a, not unhappy on one way because he said, I could have scored five today. And if you saw the game, well, he could have scored five. He was, it was a good revenge for last game against Mainz. Both him and Sancho were, well, we expect them to be the superstars of Dortmund. They were poor. But uh, Sancho on the bench today, they put him there. But Erling Holland so much on the pitch and he looked good today and got two goals against RB Leipzig, who, who are now in six games at home, five draws and one loss. So what happened to Julian Nagelsmann, the Mozart of football? Uh, has Haaland already scored more goals than you did in your career, Ali? <laughs> well, he's getting there. He's getting there quickly, <laughs> very quickly. He's gaining, gaining ground and there's nothing I can do to stop him. And here's the thing that I find most uh, entertaining, interesting, and impressive about Erling Haaland. Uh, we just talked about the fact that he could have had five goals, and he said just as much. Well, yes, that may have been the case. But you talk about the mentality of a striker. Late in that game, it's 93rd, 94th minute. The ball is played out by Jalen Sancho to Julian Brand on the right-hand side. You're winning one nothing. Any other human being in that position or somebody with lesser ambition than Erling Haaland says, you know what, just keep the ball in the corner. We'll see it out. We win one nothing. Instead, he makes a sprint to try to get in behind, to set up a run for himself so that he can get to that cross from Julian Brand on the far post. And that tells me there is a hunger. There is a desperation to score goals. And whether he's thinking about that, He's trying to make up for the ones that he missed, or he's simply the sort of striker that says, well, I don't care, I don't care how many I missed. I'm here to score goals. That mentality, whichever way you, you want to see it, is what you want out of a striker. And out of a young player, it shows a whole lot of maturity. There's a lot to like about Erling Haaland. Jan, clearly one of the elite strikers already in the world, which has got people questioning how long will he be at Borussia Dortmund? What's the timeline, do you think, ideally for Haaland here? Well... You see, I mean, he got so many skills, this this boy. He got the rawness that we already talked about there with, with his runs and all the things he's doing. There is all, also another great skill with him. First of all, is his attitude. He loves to play football. That is good. But also the skill to have people around him and tells you to do the right things, to develop, to getting better. Uh, first, first of all, we saw him when he scored a late winner against Fortuna Dusseldorf when he pointed to his head. I have to work with my headers, but look, I can still do it, can't I? And then we'll see how he's choose, chosen his clubs where, where he w went. First, he went to Molde where Solskjaer was his uh, teacher, so to say. Then he wanted to be a part of the Red Bull Academy kind of philosophy thinking. And then he went to Dortmund instead of going to Premiership, where I guess he has some still good money in Dortmund, but still that would be a mega deal. He will now stay at least, <laughs> I would say now at least, because this boy is just getting more and more goals. And I... And like I said to him, I, uh, he, I got 14 goals in the Bundesliga. He got 13. And I said, if you can beat me, uh, he did it in four months and I did it in two years. Ah, oh, yeah, and I love you. <laughs> Somehow get the conversation back to you chatting to him. Uh, how big, <laughs> just give us an idea before we move on, because it's fascinating. How big is he in Norway? Well, I think, we, first of all, he, we are proud of him because I, I, I think going back to to, to being a good guy and that's why we, we kind of reacted when everybody said he was arrogant in these interviews he's 19 and will do his mistakes but we, we are proud that a small nation like ours can get that kind of players out we are five million people and we are so depending on how to make a, a national team we need to get this generation going we now got Martin Erdegaard in La Liga, we got uh, Erling Haaland in uh, in uh, in the German Bundesliga, and proud. And also, I think that is uh, like your your Americans when they come into the Bundesliga, and one of them did very well to the Rainer, by the way. And when they come to 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 uh, to do well in the leagues, it's so inspiring for all young kids around Norway who wants to go the same road. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.